Tonight, all new at 6, people in one Cleveland suburb are wondering who turned out the lights. We checked out their complaints, and you can see stretches of busy Fairmount Boulevard. Well, it's pretty dark. Five on your side, investigator Jonathan Wall spent today trying to figure out what is going on. Yeah, I've been talking to people out here who want to shine a spotlight on this issue because the lights are out here on Fairmont near North Woodland. They're asking questions because they don't want to be left out in the dark. I don't feel super safe. Helen Harry lives in Cleveland Heights and near the stretch where street lights are out at night. I know that if I lived closer to Fairmount, I wouldn't feel very safe because I walk during the broad daylight and I almost get hit sometimes, so it can be tough. A viewer told us this area has become so dangerously dark that a neighbor was walking a dog and it was so tough to see, the woman almost got hit by a car. Helen herself is a professional dog walker. It's super scary. There's so many dog owners in Cleveland Heights, and so it should be like a well-lit area, and it's not. I went to City Hall, hoping leaders could enlighten me on the situation. They explained their records show they called the illuminating company January 7th and then again January 11th, trying to get the lights fixed. When I called the company, it told me it only had one record of a call for Fairmont. I told the company about lights not only being out at night, but that I found several street lights on in the middle of the day. The company thanked me for illuminating these issues and said crews would be out Friday night to pinpoint the lights that have stopped working, and by Saturday, they should be fixed. For those living around here, they want this incident to flip a switch for a different approach to street lighting. Hope this is, promotes, you know, some change. Now, the illuminating company told me that any time you see a street light out, you need to call its 800 number and report it. City leaders here in Cleveland Heights tell me that they have an app called Access Cleveland Heights in that you can report these kinds of incidents, water main breaks, potholes, right through the app. You can take a picture, and it's sent directly to city leaders. Shedding some light on this topic, I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5.